Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. This is Patty, and I am going to go over my budget. And I've decided I'm just going to go over like the money that I bring in weekly because my husband's check really does just go to pay for expenses, and we have ex house expenses like everyone else. So I do my budget, which is my weekly paycheck and any money that I get in extra in the seven by nine now. I used to do spending in seven by nine and then I used to do the A5 with the budget by paycheck workbook sheets. But now I've just glued them in here and I like that better because it's all in one. And I will most likely pick up one budget by paycheck in the fall when they come out. They're due to come out September, October and then use the seven by nine though for weekly, I don't know, weekly check-in perhaps, we'll see. Because the Humble Beginnings Budget Planner, which is um, Sarah Marie's planner, I did get that as well this year. Oh, she just came out with it, it's like this. And I do use this one for July. Um, I started in July because I couldn't wait. Come, come on, who can wait if you get it? If you get it, start using it, right? I'm not gonna wait a year <laughs> or six months. So I did start using it. I put in the, the stickers for our um, bills in here. This is what I'm using that for. And then, you know, I put our budget here for the month. He gets paid twice a month. That's why I did it like this. And then I do use this for the spending tracker of what we spend. And then she has like the cash envelopes. I, I've been write, using that, writing that down. And then business expenses. I haven't faithfully used that. But then, you know, as you can see with our last first paycheck for the month, it's all fixed bills that we're paying. So I, that's what I'm using that one for. But I use the seven by nine mostly for my paycheck. And this is the paycheck of July 21st. Now the July 28th paycheck, I will put right into August. That'll be the first paycheck for August. So I'm gonna be wrapping things up in July, as well as I've already started creating a budget for August, which is really, for me, honestly, gonna be a catch up month. It's gonna be catch up in the IOUs. I need to catch up. I need to stop the spending and I need to put money, you know, in uh, the envelopes that I've used over the past couple of months that I talked about a little bit on my video yesterday. So let's just go right into the paycheck. So my cushion and checking amount rollover was $22.57. Um, my check for my full-time job was six oh seven one seven. Now that might go up slightly a little bit next week because I was putting an extra hundred dollars, setting an extra hundred dollars for my federal income taxes since January. But right now, I think you know, a half a year, I think we should have a good cushion in that, you know, with them. And then I am, you know, I, I'm gonna, I would rather have the hundred dollars in my account to be quite honest. So, okay, so then I got an extra um, child care check for $925. I did use money from Allie of seventy five ninety six, and then I did take sixty dollars from one another account, um, sinking fund for dying out. So the total is sixteen ninety seven, which you know what sounds great, right? But as soon as it comes in, it just feels like it just goes out. So I did put back my cushion of a hundred dollars. I have an old navy credit card payment coming up out of fifty dollars. Amazon credit card payment one hundred one. My husband's credit card, $96. So this account in my paycheck covers all credit card payments and then any sinking funds and variable spending. So that's why you see all the credit card payments in this account. We had to get Max Dog Food, that was $32.61. Um, we need stuff from uh, a store in town, mostly household items. A pool shock. So that was uh, $51.96. I don't know if that was an additional $24. Oh, I'm just, maybe I'm just saying that that's $24 because this was to all total in here. Okay. Um, and then I paid, I did pay extra on a credit card because I knew I was getting that $900. And a lot of that money goes to Gracie's expenses. So I paid an extra two hundred dollars for her speech therapy to my credit card that that covers that. Um, 
69.20 was different household or Amazon subscribe and save things for the month. I put $150 into our um, joint account. Now, envelopes for groceries, I budgeted $100. <clears throat> I did do a Super Walmart haul yesterday, and I haven't gotten the exact amount because you don't have the refund sent sometimes. So I think it's about $55. So for dine out last night we did um, thirty dollars between um, Chinese and some sushi. I put forty dollars of gas. <coughs> excuse me, in my car, and then we had the house clean for one hundred twenty-five dollars. So for sinking funds, it's just a few here. Five for six for two weeks. So I did, I did that for sixty dollars, and that's one thing that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not do again. I mean, $5 a week for six envelopes is $30 a week. And that's just how I build up those envelopes. And the, and the five, the six, six envelopes is a car, car maintenance, car insurance for next year, three birthdays, and then our pool, which as you can see, we're in pool season. And we're also, we also bought a hot tub and that's come in. It's not filled as of yet, but you know, that pool will be pool slash hot tub supplies because you're going to need it. So, uh, the monthly challenge, I owe 150 As of right now, I haven't put anything back in. Um, I I use $100 of my personal money for something, so I was able to put that back in this week. And then I have different sinking funds, like word, my words, <coughs> my word of the months that I, I use, so I put that in here as an IOU, and I was able to do one of them for $60. <clears throat> my friend's mom-in-law passed away <clears throat> this week, and she was, you know, just a tough week, so I sent her some money this past week to help buy, so, you know, dinner. I don't know what they will do with it, but I don't really care. I wanted to give her something. And then child care, we had someone yesterday with $60. Um, our usual Wednesday person was 36. So, now I just have to tally this all up, and but I'm sure 1690 is going to be minimal of what is left. And then I also do the tracking in here, and I only had two pages of tracking. So, I had to go into the notes part here, and then just put that in here. So, I'll just keep a track of what, you know, is spending in here as well. So that's the, the weekly paycheck. I mean, it, it, you know, as quickly as it comes in, it goes out. And, you know, I don't know. It's just, you know, never ending. Quickly as it goes, comes in, goes out. Sounds like my mother. Um, so that's it for now. I am going to try to do a video tomorrow or early week of my focuses and my August budget. So I'll bring that to you and I hope you'll come back and watch it. Thanks, everybody. Happy Saturday.